Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you how to create a virtual machine using Hyper-V. So to do that, first I will need an ISO image of operating system to be installed. In this demo, I'm going to install Windows Server 2012 R2. Second, we will have to need, we will need virtual switch for connectivity inside virtual machine. So I have already created two virtual switches for my LAN connectivity and Wi-Fi connectivity. So let's get started. First, I will open my Hyper-V virtual manager from start screen. This is how the Hyper-V virtual manager looks like. I'll go to virtual switch manager just to show you the two virtual switches which I have already created. So I have created one switch. I can give any name to this which is of type external and I have selected my Wi-Fi network and OK. Second, I have created one more virtual switch which is for my LAN connectivity and I have selected my LAN network card and have selected OK. To create any new virtual switches, you can go here and create them from here. So it provides three types of virtual switches, external, internal and private. At the end of this tutorial, I'll share with you a link where you can understand the different types of virtual switches and for what they are required. For this demo, it's not required and I have created only of one type which is external. So now I'll go to this new and say new virtual machine. I'll give name to my virtual machine. I'll select to store the files of the virtual machine at a different location. I will say new folder yes. and select. Okay. Next, I can choose from any of these two. For this demo, I have selected to choose generation one. I'll assign 24 GB of RAM to my virtual machine. You can also check this option if you want the dynamic memory. So the Hyper-V will use memory based on need. The usage of memory will increase or decrease. I have decided to provide that virtual machine static 24 GB of RAM. I'll choose the network which I want to assign to my virtual machine. I'll say next. So here are the list of options with which we can install an operating system. I can either choose to install an operating system later or I can provide a CD or DVD ROM to install the operating system. In my case, I'll choose the ISO file which I have already copied on my physical machine. I say next and finish. So now I will right click on it and say settings. From here, I'll increase the number of virtual processors. It will depend on your machine, how many virtual processors your base physical machine has. In my case, I am going to give eight virtual processors to this Hyper-V. I'm going to add, as you saw in the demo, we have already add external adapter, which is Wi-Fi. I'm also going to add one more for connectivity through LAN. And I say apply. 
in future also if you want to change your memory ram assignment you can come here when the machine is turned off and you can choose from here so we are done with the initial configurations i'll say okay and start so as you see now while starting up the hyper v it will automatically start the installation of windows server 2012 i'll say next and install now so it will take some time to copy all the files from the iso file and starting the installation from here today for today's demo i'll choose the data center edition server with gui you can also choose standard edition with gui i'll say next so here as it's a new installation i'm going to choose this next and my installation of virtual machine has started we'll wait for some time to this to complete so now our setting screen is up all the software installation files have been complete and i'll choose the password for my virtual machine and finish so our virtual machine is ready and i can log in into it i'll say full screen control all delete password so as you see now our virtual machine is ready to be worked on so i can install softwares and i can do anything as an independent machine in this virtual machine so hope this helps thanks for attending this video